JewishHistory.org presents Rabbi Beryl Wine's 5,000 Years of Jewish History One video clip at a time Clip number 47 Enlightenment and Reform In the 1700s, the ideas of the Enlightenment spread throughout Europe, especially throughout Western Europe. Now, the Enlightenment uh, believed that man could solve all of the problems of humanity, that religion was, so to speak, a burden and a hindrance, and that science, technology, and the spirit of human freedom and democracy uh, were the main values in life. This spirit of enlightenment led to a degree of tolerance in Western European countries which did not exist before. So that in the 1700s, for the first time, in about four centuries, Jews began to drift back to settle in England, in London, especially Sephardic Jews from Amsterdam. Also, the spirit of the Enlightenment reached Germany. And Germany, oddly enough, paradoxically enough, ironically enough, became the most liberal country as far as Jews were concerned in the 18th and 19th century in Europe. In the 20th century, it'd be the graveyard for European Jewry. This idea of the Enlightenment and the fact that man believed so much in man's capacity to create the good world, the Enlightenment was going to do away with war, with pestilence, with hunger. It was going to be a utopia. Well, it did away with religion, because if you can take care of it yourself, uh, the God, so to speak, is again a hindrance to that and not a help. And this had a profound effect upon the Jewish world as well. This effect was felt in Germany with the rise of a man called Moses Mendelssohn. Now, Mendelssohn himself was an observant Jew, but Mendelssohn was a child of the Enlightenment. And Mendelssohn uh, said that if you could prove to him logically that Christianity was correct, he would convert to Christianity. If you proved to him that no religion was correct, he would believe in no religion. He believed in Judaism because it met his logical standards. Now, Mendelssohn uh, was close with many, many non-Jewish philosophers, professors, even somewhat with the royal house of the Prussian Kaiser. And because of that, therefore, Mendelssohn, who was a genius and was able to hold all of these disparate balls together, uh, thought that everybody would be able to do it. That's part of the problem of genius, I can testify to that, that a genius feels that what he or she can do, everybody can do. And that is not the way the world works. And therefore, these ideas of the Enlightenment would come and wreak havoc on the Jewish faith and eventually even on the Jewish people. Thank you for watching. I'm Beryl Wine. For more on Jewish history, go to jewishhistory.org.